let's assign the, the constraints. So I'm, I will use the geometry to, to specify the places where the constraints will be defined. So we can assign, for example, on the faces. So let's just simply select those two frontal faces and let's select the pinned option and it's done. So this is our constraint set and now let's back to the, to the analysis. I'm going to uh, edit and uh, to perform this linear static analysis we have to drag and drop the our boundary condition uh, set to activate our uh, boundary, condition, boundary conditions in, in, inside uh, inside this, this sequence. So uh, everything has been done except of the uh, number of increments for the, uh, for the thermal analysis. So now I'm clicking on subcase control button and let's change the number of the increments into one and initial temperature to 65 and let's click on OK. And now we are ready to perform this uh, coupled thermal stress analysis. So as you see, this is the result of the thermal uh, of the of the linear st uh, static response for uh, for our uh, thermal loading. So the, the total displacements are close to the one millimeter. So if we go to the unit uh, unit part at the bottom, so we can easily interactively change the unit for the length. So now I'm changing for the millimeter, and we can see that the total displacement is one millimeter, and related stresses are quite high because uh, because then they are over the yield. Uh, strength so so it means that we have to do something with this model if you want to operate uh, with those conditions so that's all according to this model